When China's Shenzhou 20 capsule took a hit from space debris this month, it exposed something critical. Their aging spacecraft couldn't bring astronauts home on time. But while everyone focused on the debris problem, China quietly revealed two radical solutions that could reshape space logistics forever. One is a mini space shuttle that lands like a jet. The other, a cargo ship with AI that tracks every item astronauts touch. How did China leapfrog from crisis to innovation so fast? The answer starts with understanding what China learned from that debris strike. Space stations need backup plans, and relying on a single spacecraft design from the early 2000s isn't enough anymore. So while repairs were underway on Shenzhou 20, China's space agency was already preparing to unveil something they'd been developing in secret for years. Meet Mengzhou, China's next-generation crewed spacecraft, launching in 2026. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete reimagining of what a space capsule can do. The spacecraft stretches nearly 29 feet long and weighs 21,600 kilograms, but size isn't what makes it revolutionary. Mengzhou is modular, meaning it can be configured for different missions on the fly need to send six astronauts to the space station. Done. Want to send three astronauts plus 500 kilograms of critical equipment to the moon? Same spacecraft, different configuration. When was the last time you saw a vehicle this adaptable? The design splits into two sections, a reusable crew module that returns safely to Earth and a disposable service module handling propulsion, power, and life support. But here's the clever part. The crew module uses detachable heat shields, so instead of building an entirely new spacecraft for each mission, China can swap out the thermal protection and fly again. SpaceX pioneered reusability with boosters and Dragon capsules, but China is taking it further with modular flexibility that works for both Earth orbit and lunar missions. China isn't waiting around to prove the concept works. On July 17, 2025, they conducted a zero-altitude abort test at Zhuquan Satellite Launch Center. Engineers sent a command to the Mengzhou test capsule, triggering the launch escape system to fire four main motors plus an eight-nozzle directional motor. Within 20 seconds, the capsule pulled away cleanly separated from the escape system, and began its controlled descent. Two drogue parachutes deployed first, slowing the fall enough for three massive main parachutes to open. As the capsule drifted down, the heat shield released right on schedule, allowing landing airbags to inflate beneath it. The entire sequence worked flawlessly. Would you trust your life to a spacecraft that hasn't been tested like this? An in-flight abort test is scheduled for later this year, similar to what NASA did with Orion and SpaceX with Crew Dragon. If successful, Mengzhou will begin ferrying up to seven crew members to Tiangong Space Station and eventually carry three Taikonauts to the lunar surface by 2030. But getting astronauts to space is only half the battle. Right now, the Shenzhou return capsule is packed with three astronauts and personal bags, leaving room for only 50 kilograms of return cargo. That's barely enough for a few experiment samples. The limitation became painfully obvious as China's space station missions grew longer and more complex. So, in 2023, China's manned space agency issued a challenge design a low-cost cargo system that could deliver at least 1.8 tons of supplies, provide 7 cubic meters of pressurized space, dock for 3 months, and bring back 2 tons of materials. The requirements were straightforward, but the solution needed to be revolutionary. On October 29, 2024, they announced not one but two winners the Haolong Space Shuttle, and the Qingzhou Cargo Spacecraft. Why would China develop two completely different systems for the same job? 
because each solves a fundamentally different problem in space logistics. How long is a reusable cargo space plane being built by Chengdu Aircraft Design and Research Institute, the same team behind China's advanced fighter jets? Picture a miniature space shuttle with an 8-meter wingspan and 10-meter length, about one-fifth the size of NASA's original shuttle. Chief designer Feng Yuanpeng described the operational concept, launch on a commercial rocket, enter orbit autonomously, unfold solar panels, and attach to Tiangong's rear port. Taikonauts can then float directly into the cargo bay and unload supplies. After the mission ends, how long detaches, re-enters the atmosphere, and lands on a runway like a commercial airliner. Ground crews service it like regular aircraft and prepare it for the next flight. The real advantage shows up during the return journey. Unlike capsules that splash down in the ocean or land hard in remote deserts, how long touches down gently on a runway with delicate cargo completely intact. Experiment samples that can't handle impact forces, temperature-sensitive biological materials, prototype hardware that needs examination in pristine condition. All of it comes home safely. Dragon capsules can return cargo, but they still hit the ocean at significant speeds before recovery teams fish them out hours later. Scientific equipment gets soaked in salt water, biological samples experience temperature fluctuations, and delicate instruments sometimes suffer damage. How much research has been compromised by rough ocean landings? Then there's Qingzhou, and this is where things get truly innovative. China unveiled a life-size model during Space Day in April, and if everything stays on schedule, it launches later this year on a Legion 2 reusable rocket. The Innovation Academy for Microsatellites studied every major cargo spacecraft in operation. Dragon, Europe's ATV, Japan's HTV, then built something specifically engineered for maximum efficiency. Instead of the traditional two-module design, Qingzhou uses a single integrated capsule. Engineers dramatically shrunk the propulsion section and expanded the cargo area, packing 27 cubic meters of usable space capable of hauling two tons of supplies. But the interior is where Qingzhou separates itself from every other cargo vehicle currently flying. The cargo bay is organized like a smart warehouse in orbit, with four-tier shelving containing 40 individual compartments. High-definition cameras mounted throughout use visual recognition algorithms to automatically track inventory. When a Taikonaut removes an item from a shelf, the system records it instantly and updates the manifest in real time. There's no manual logging, no clipboards, no spreadsheets to maintain. A voice-activated search system connects directly to the cargo database. So if a crew member needs a specific tool, they simply ask out loud and the system directs them to the exact location. Has any cargo spacecraft ever operated with this level of intelligence? The cold chain system represents another major leap forward. Qingzhou can transport up to 300 liters of temperature-sensitive goods using fully modular refrigerated containers. Each container holds 60 liters and operates independently, allowing crews to adjust the number of units based on mission requirements. Temperature zones can be fine-tuned individually, so fresh vegetables stay at one setting while medical samples remain frozen at another. This means Taikonauts finally receive regular deliveries of fresh food instead of subsisting entirely on freeze-dried meals for months. Mental health and morale improve dramatically when crews eat real food. SpaceX Dragon has some cold storage capability, but it doesn't offer the same modular flexibility or automatic inventory tracking. Qingzhou's capabilities extend beyond simple delivery runs. While docked to the station, it can operate scientific payloads autonomously, essentially functioning as a temporary research module. Before re-entry, it can deploy small satellites as secondary missions, maximizing the value of each flight. The spacecraft works with multiple launch vehicle types, giving China tremendous flexibility for rapid response missions. 
This versatility came from co-designing Qingzhou and the Ligian 2 rocket as an integrated system from day one. Ligian 2 is a reusable liquid kerosene rocket with 8 to 12 tons of payload capacity developed by CAS Space, the commercial spaceflight arm of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. If this maiden flight succeeds, the implications reach far beyond keeping Tiangong stocked with supplies. Qingzhou and Lijian 2 would prove that China has mastered low-cost, high-frequency space logistics using commercially developed systems. That capability becomes the foundation for everything else. Lunar bases, deep space missions, industrial operations in orbit. What happens when launching cargo becomes as routine as shipping containers across the ocean? But China isn't stopping with cargo ships and crew vehicles. While the world focuses on SpaceX's Starship tests, China is quietly building the actual infrastructure for sustained space operations. Quantum communication satellites creating unhackable networks. The three-body computing constellation aiming for 3,000 satellites by 2030, turning orbit into a supercomputer. Space-based solar power that could beam clean energy to Earth 24-7 even nuclear thermal propulsion that might cut Mars, trips from years to months. The Shenzhou 20 debris strike wasn't just a crisis, it revealed China's real strategy. They're not chasing headlines with experimental rockets. They're deploying proven systems that solve practical problems right now. Smart cargo ships with AI inventory tracking, Reusable space planes landing on runways, modular crew vehicles ready for lunar missions. These launch this year and next. Here's the bottom line. China turned a spacecraft failure into an opportunity to leapfrog the competition with two revolutionary cargo systems. Qingzhou's AI-powered warehouse in space and Haolong's runway landings aren't just innovations. They're the foundation for everything China plans to do beyond Earth orbit. If this changed how you see the space race, hit that like button right now. Drop a comment with your thoughts. Is China's approach smarter than SpaceX's? Subscribe to Atlas Space and turn on notifications so you never miss our deep dives into what's really happening up there. The competition is heating up and you'll want to see what comes next.